Okay, dear friends, today we are going to do some air layering and uh, I'm using this guava plant, although it's fruiting, however, I'm using this big um, uh, stem for preparing it to air layer. Now I have, um, uh, you know, uh, taken off some uh, leaves from this stem. It's quite thick stem and hopefully it's going to turn out to be a very good uh, new plant. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a scar all the way through the stem. Now I'll be very very careful that I'm not actually uh, cutting the entire stem but I'm just making a scar on each end of the stem. You need to be very careful because you are doing it with knife and you need to be very very careful not to hurt yourself nor cut the entire stem. Now my knife is quite sharp and what I'm doing is you can see I'm scarring this completely and I'm removing the top layer of this stem. Now I'll do this all through and I'm going to actually tease it. I will scar it so that it develops roots. I'm doing it all through. I just have to turn the stem a little so that I can do it on the other side. My camera might not be able to show you completely, but this is what I'm trying to do. And now I'm going to scar it a little so that it is teased. If you can see, I'm just scarring a little. And this is how it is prepared. Now you can see the entire rough bark of the stem is removed. It's a bit dark now. I'm not very sure that I'm able to show you this. This is what I have removed. Now what I'm going to do is, this is my bag of cocoa peat. I have put some cocoa peat in this bag and I'm just going to put a slash in this and this is how it is all opened now I am going to cover this with this and will try to hold all of the cocoa peat in there now I'll be using this tie to actually bind it all through I'm going to do it to I'm going to do it tight. And I'm going to tie it up so that it doesn't open. I'm going to hold it and we'll do it once I have tied it all through. Now I'm going to tie it tightly all through this so that the cocoa peat doesn't fall off and also it's tight enough to hold all the roots that are developing now this is how we do air layering and I'm almost done I'm just going to hold this end of it tightly and I'm just going to slip it from this and we'll tightly pack it wrap it around once more on the corner and 
and I am almost done. Now I'm just going to tie these ends which I have left in the corner and we'll make a knot here. Now hopefully it is going to take around 45 days, 40 to 45 days for the roots to develop and I'll be seeing this all through and we'll keep noticing how well the roots have developed and how far they have developed. Now I have tied this up and you can see it's all done. So it's a thicker branch and once the roots have developed I'm going to cut this end from here. And you can see it's tightly packed. Now dear friends, this is called air layering. And uh, I'll be sharing the results with you uh, after a few days. Thank you. Do subscribe my channel, Fairy Container Garden Gardening, and like the post.